I am Martina and I'm the founder of Telnes and Telnes Tech. We are a telecom company. So I am um, an engineer that have a telecom background that 2016 decided to um, do a little bit of a challenge within the telco industry that is not really known for having great customer experiences or uh, it's another type of legacy industry as many others that hasn't really been disrupted uh, yet. Um, we are comparing ourselves to uh, other traditional large incumbent industries like finance. Many of you know fintech companies and there's a lot of other labels on, for example, um, medtech or uh, edtech or etc cetera, etc cetera. Uh, if you google teltech it's not really that common i think we're the only company that really have that label or trying to get that label today but it's another industry that have very unsatisfied customers there's <laughs> exactly they really need some disruption um, it's not because there are like it's not bad people working in large incumbent operators, but there's a lot of legacy in IT. Uh, there's one of many industry that has existed for quite a few years with big customer bases and have not really been able to keep up uh, with other industries or uh, customer expectations changing in the market. And there's also a lot of hassle behind the scenes in terms of manual processes, etc., that is taking up a much of their time instead of creating better customer experience or innovation um, in the end. So we could describe ourselves as a telco company. So we both have uh, built like new type of software uh, on the back end side for operators. Um, so quite a deep tech uh, company, but we also have launched a mobile operator for ourselves, uh, specifically for the SMEs so or small, medium enterprises in Sweden. So quite a big leap of uh, challenging operators of creating an own operator in Sweden, but also that has now become a proof of concept of our technology of what that can achieve, both in terms of customer experience, but also efficiency for for an operator, so we also now sell our technology um, globally uh, to other telcos uh, worldwide. Uh, one of my mantras from start, so I will share a little bit of, of my journey uh, and some learnings and perspectives uh, along the way. Uh, one of my mantras from start is, I actually have this on my wall, is like, if you try to like if you think are too small to make a difference, try sleeping with a mosquito in your bedroom and uh, creating a teltech company uh, or just launching a mobile operator itself. It's quite a big project to take on. Uh, my first impression was that someone should do this uh, and basically decided, well, it can uh, it can be me. Why not? More or less. And uh, I think just the mantra of starting somewhere and um, just thinking that just doing something and making a difference and doing best practice that will actually make a difference, um, even though you're big or small. <laughs> um, another point is that we've tried to make us being a small challenger um, something good instead of trying to be on the same perspective and challenge on the same arena as the large incumbents. So what do we have as pros instead of cons of being a challenger in the market? Like I have not tried to do marketing worldwide and spent hundreds of millions of kronas in Sweden, but instead trying to be more personal in our brand creating a personal relationship that is easy when you're small and if you're when you're the same target segment as your end customers instead of being on the same uh, arena as as the others and also trying to have our USPs as innovator brand uh, digital etc cetera, etc cetera, and maybe not be the one that have most features in the market because that we will never achieve that will also always be a benefit of being big. 
Uh, one of the learnings of running uh, a startup in itself, and I think this is something that many other will relate to, uh, probably you or uh, other people uh, running companies, etc., is that you have to be outside of your comfort zone, and it's a lot of trial, trial and error uh, along the way. I will show a little quick video of uh, my mindset of how to create fast speed and how just to have an example of the importance of all the time uh, try new things and not be on the same level because then you will not really accelerate so i will give this a go <laughs> So the whole point of this video is that being on this, doing the same thing will never make a difference. Then you will still be on the same pace uh, or on the same level as you were a month ago or a year ago. You need to try new things. You need to try, you need to succeed and you need to fail because just being outside your comfort zone and doing different things than you did the month before, then you will start to accelerate. So again, like, this is really for for me outstanding because it really shows that ups and downs create acceleration um the last slide i will gonna present is one tip that got to me when i started uh, telness and telness tech and it's about uh, really high having high ambitions like many of you, obviously, uh, because everyone has, we all also do, have small targets, smart targets, clear strategy and a plan. Like you do, um, I don't know if you use OKRs or if you do use anything else and that you should have, like you should have a strategy, you should have a plan um, and that should be something that you have as a leading star of uh, how you prioritize, etc. cetera. Um, Except for that, many of you obviously also have higher ambitions, but it's quite hard to set a clear strategy and plan for a crazy ambition. But underneath the surface, you still little believe that you want to create this crazy ambition uh, in the end. So how do you then do a way of trying new things and actually succeed for different things and just luck on how to actually create better results than your realistic strategy and plan. And so what I got um, as a recommendation was to create a miracle list. Uh, and I really, really can recommend all of you to do that on a personal level or a company basis if you haven't already. And that is basically to create a list of what could happen if miracle could happen it could for in my example when i did this a couple of years ago it could be like this crazy person reached out and i wanted to be my mentor or i have to get i get the opportunity to have a lunch with this experienced person and uh, pick their brains on something or i'm able to attend at a specific event that only um, interesting people are, are invited to, or I get the opportunity to have this speaker, or I get these as investors, or it's, I, rec I, I'm able to recruit this cool person that is a little bit out of the box working at Telnus, etc. And when you have created this list, and it should be not only one, two, three things, it should be like 30. So you really, really start not thinking the obvious first five or the obvious first 10, but like stretch your miracles. And when it comes to like 10, 20, 30 things uh, and what's starting to happen when you have written down these miracles that, is that you're unconsciously are starting to get yourself out there and create um, um, more prerequisites of having luck of having better luck uh, like for example you may be um, 
add a certain person on LinkedIn that maybe knows one that knows another. You maybe attend to some events unconsciously because then you might bump into some per people that will then know the other person that you have on your miracle list or you might you know start thinking of things in your uh, on a daily basis that you hadn't really uh, picked up before uh, and that has really uh, made a difference in my way of thinking and uh, really made a lot of maybe not the actual miracles happen like to be honest the miracles in my perspective haven't happened but a lot of other miracles along the way have actually um, happened because I have put myself out there in a context uh, that can create luck so to say uh, and I think if you listen to a lot of people it's a lot about being a specific context, having luck in certain way uh, that will make the difference of a company going just on a stable progress than having like this accelerating curve. And that will never happen if you just do the same thing on a daily basis, uh, both in trial and error, as I had as the last example, but also in um, being like put yourself out there to be able to have some miracles in your life. So my my tips uh, for you guys is obviously uh, try stuff, uh, believe in yourself uh, and think that you actually can be a small mosquito uh, and make a difference in the end, but also to be in forefront uh, of your own miracles going forward. I will be in uh, the breakout sessions if you want to have a uh, talk with me in person. Otherwise, I think I will have like the last two minutes open for uh, questions in, in the chat. So please write if you want to have a specific question already now. It's very interesting this when you don't see the people you're talking to. So I will just get going here. But uh, if you don't uh, have already, uh, you're also very welcome to add me on LinkedIn. I'm trying to share as much as possible on uh, my journey uh, so far and my learnings along the way. Uh, so we're happy to discuss uh, different things or hopefully be some inspiration to, to some of you or get some inspiration to some of you all, have some inspiration from some of you also, of course. Thank you, Pranav. Cool. I think I will run out to the uh, hangout rooms uh, with the speakers uh, and I will see you all there. Hope you had a great day and hope you got something out of this session.